Hey guys, it's good to see you. Um, wanted to get together today and to do another Estim mystery. This one's called Flying Cars and it's geared towards probably grades kindergarten to second grade, but I think kids of all ages will enjoy this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and get it started. So this one's called Flying Cars. So take a look at this picture here. What I would like you to do is estimate how many total cars you think there are in all. That's gonna include these cars up here plus all the cars that are in this small little cup here. How many cars do you think there are all together? So go ahead and think about it. And then I, what I want you to do is go ahead and write down the number you think it is, or if you don't have a pencil handy, go ahead and go tell somebody what your guess is. What is your estimate? And then we're going to go through some clues and we'll use those clues to help fine tune our estimate. All right. So I need everybody to go ahead, and write down your estimate. I'm going to go ahead and give you another 10 seconds to put down what you think is the right answer. Okay. Do you have your estimate? Let's see clue number one. Clue number one says count by twos from two to 60. The answer is one of those numbers. All right, so I decided to use a chart going from one to 60. Now the clue said to count by twos. So two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, and so on. What do we call those numbers? There's a certain name for those type of numbers that end in a two, four, six, eight, or zero. That's right, it's an even number. So what this is saying is that the answer is an even number. So we should get rid of any numbers that are, are the opposite of even, which are called odd numbers. So we know that it's gonna be a two, four, six, eight, zero, 12, 14, 16, and so on. So it's gonna end in one of those numbers. So let's go ahead and cross out our odd numbers which are any numbers that end in a one, three, five, seven, or nine. So let's go ahead and cross those out. All right, that just took out half of our numbers. So we had 60 possibilities, now it's down to 30. Now if we crossed out your estimate, go ahead and update your estimate based on this new information you have. Okay, do you have your new estimate? Let's look at clue number two. Clue number two says count by threes from three to 60. The answer is one of those numbers. All right, so now we're gonna do some skip counting by threes. Now the answer is gonna be one of the numbers that we do. So with three, now we already have three knocked out though. So three, six, so it could be six, nine, 12, could be 12. And I want you to keep doing that skip count by threes. Go ahead and take a look at the screen and practice your skip counting by threes. Okay. Now, when you get to third grade, you're gonna learn that when we skip count by threes like that, those are actually called multiples of three. But we know that the answer is one of the numbers we said when we skip counted by three, so we should cross out any number that we didn't hit when we were skip counting by threes. So let's go ahead and cross those out. There we go, we're down to, it looks like three, eight, 10 numbers left. So if we cross out your number, go ahead and make update your estimate based on the new information we have. All right, do you have your new estimate written down? All right, let's go on to clue number three. Clue number three says the answer does not include the digit zero. So let's take a look here. What numbers do we have here that have the digit zero in it? Yeah, we have these two right here. We have 30 and 60, both end in a zero. So we should go ahead and cross those numbers out. All right, that takes us down to eight numbers. 
Is your number still there? If so, great job. If not, that's okay. We have new information. Go ahead and update your estimate and write it down. All right, clue number four. Clue number four says we should cross out any number with a digit that matches the number of cars that are flying above the cup. So how many cars do you see flying above the cup? Let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five. Yep, five. So we should cross out any number that has a five in it. So if we look at our numbers here, we don't have any fives in the one digits left, but we do have a five in the tens place. So we should go ahead and cross that one out. All right, that leaves us with seven numbers. Let's take a look at the final get the clue. Oh, but before we do that, if you did have that number written down, go ahead and cross it or go ahead and update your estimate. All right, let's look at our final clue. The final clue says <clears throat> we should cross out any numbers that include the digit represented by the die. So the die is right here. A die is single, uh, a single dice. So just one dice is called a die. So what number do you see here? Two. So we should cross out any number that has a digit two in it. Let's take a look. Do you see anything we can knock out? Well, if we look at the ones place, we can see that the 12 has a two and 42 has a two, so we can cross those out. But look at 24, it has a two in the tens place. So we can cross that one out as well. So let's go ahead and update that. Now, we're down to four numbers. Now, to be honest with you, it's probably not six because we saw that there were five above the car as it was. See, check that out, there's five. There's more than one here. So now, really, we're looking at 18, 36, or 48. Go ahead and write down your final estimate. And I want you to take a few seconds and tell somebody in the room what your final estimate was and why you chose that number. So go ahead and look at the picture and write down your final estimate. And make sure you tell somebody what your estimate was. All right, are you ready? The total number of cars is 48. Did you get 48? Great job. If not, that's okay. We're gonna keep practicing these and keep fine tuning our estimation skills during this time away from school. All right, guys, uh, keep coming back to the website. I'll have some more videos up later in the week. Um, and, you know, for those that we saw on the parade on Friday, it's sure great to see your smiling faces. Can't wait to see you back in school. Take care.